I am gonna explain the crap out of that game. What? You don't know how to play solitaire? Don't worry, I gotcha. Come on, let's go. Woo! Hello. Today I am gonna teach you how to play a card game called Solitaire. This game is also known as Klondike and it's a one player game. You'll start with seven piles of cards and you play by sorting them. The goal of this card game is to eventually create four new piles, separated by suit, and organized in order from ace to king. Solitaire is a card game that is well over a hundred years old. It's thought to have been created in the late 1800s by Canadian gold prospectors. They were out and about seeking their fortune during the Klondike Gold Rush. Let's break it down. How to play Solitaire. Hey. Hey. To start, we'll set it up. Use a shuffled deck of cards to deal seven cards in a row, left to right. The first card is face up, and the remaining six cards are face down. Next, skip the first card and deal a card face up onto the second card. Then go across dealing cards face down on top of the rest. And then you just continue the pattern. What you'll have is seven piles, with the first pile having only one card, and the last pile having seven cards total. Each pile only has the card on the top face up, the rest are face down. Okay, so the remaining deck is often referred to as the stock, but I'll just call it the deck. Place it face down without looking at it and you'll be able to draw cards from it later. But that's it, you did it. You're all set up to play Solitaire. Yep. 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 <laughs> all right, let's start playing. The goal is to sort the cards. How do we do that? Well, first off, you can move any of these face-up cards whenever you want, but you can only move it to a card in another pile that is one number higher and also the opposite color. For example, you can move this jack of clubs over here to this queen of diamonds, or you can move this four of spades to this five of hearts. All right, so you may have noticed that whenever you reveal a face-down card, you get to flip it over. That unlocks it, and now you're free to move it like all the other face-up cards. If you move a card that has other cards underneath it, all the cards under it come along with it. So if I move this five of hearts here to this six, the four comes over with it. Okay, so let's skip over to another game in progress. Whoop. Okay, see, so if I move this card, all these others come along with it. Sometimes, you might want to move a card from mid-row, and you can, like this. Now the king. The king is considered the highest card, so there are no cards that you can move it to. But whenever there are no cards left in a pile, and you open up a space, you're allowed to move a king into that spot. You can't start a new pile with a king. You have to put it in a spot from the original seven piles. So as you can see, we're sorting these cards into rows of descending order with alternating colors for black and red. Now, whenever you get an ace, you get to make a new pile up top. These new piles are called the foundation piles. You can have up to four of them, for one for each ace. Now you can move cards up into these foundation piles, but up here they have to be the same suit. And they go up from ace to king. So on this ace of spades, you could put the two of spades. And on the two of spades, you could put the three of spades, all the way up to king. For these piles up top, once you bring a card up here, you can't bring it back down again. They're out of play. All right, that's almost it. The last thing you need to know about is this deck here. Whenever you want, you can draw cards from it. The way you do that is you take three cards and deal them face up. Some people refer to this new pile as the Talon, which does sound pretty cool. You can use the top card you dealt and move it to any of your piles based on the moving rules that we discussed. So you can move this red six to the black seven. If it was a king, you could put it in an empty spot, and if it's an ace, you could bring it up top. You got it. If you use the top card of the Talon, then you could use the next one that's on top and just keep going down, 
or you can deal more cards on top, again, three at a time. When you reach the end of the deck and you have less than three, you just put the rest down and use what you have. Then you scoop up the talon, don't shuffle it, and deal three more again. And you could pass through the deck as much as you want. Now, most of the time, you're going to reach a point where you can't make any more moves. There's nothing left to move around, and you've passed through the draw deck a few times. That's the end of the game. You count how many cards you're able to put up top in the foundation piles, and that's your score. But once in a while, with good strategy and also a bunch of luck, you get all the cards moved up top. And that means, good job, you're the best, you've won at Solitaire. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> A little too much? <laughs> now you should know all about that game, how to set it up and how to play. If this video helped, let me know. Hit that like button. Now go have some fun. If you want to learn another, put your requests in the comments. Hit subscribe. There's more on the way.